Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. This time we are going to talk about flow measurement. Yeah, we have heard how a floating flow measurement is in theory working and now I want to show you a real sensor. Yeah, we are here in my lab, in my school, uh, hydrodynamic lab, uh, quite some installations here. However, today I want to talk about this device here. Right? So this is a floating flow measurement actually. Now, uh, this is the correct, <laughs> correct uh, way to install it. There is an intake that's on the bottom side, all right? So there's an intake, and there is understand yes. There is so the flow will pass from down to up here. This here, this is just this is just a um, switch, all right? So this is a switch. This is contactless switch, this will switch if the flow indication is reaching the position. You can adjust it in height, so you can adjust the position, the, the, the flow, where this thing is switching. What is going up and down is this little device, this little floater down here. You see this metal device? Yeah? So this is the inner inner tube is not cylindrical, it's also conical, so this will ride on the fluid, so on the gas usually, which is streaming, which is streaming through this device. So this will simply ride and will stay at a certain position wherever the diameter of the inner tube, of the inner glass tube, is big enough because it's also conical. Okay, so we will reach a certain height at a certain flow. This is how this is working. Maybe I can also show you how such indicator looks like. Come, come down a little bit. And here we see, now it would be already show a certain flow. This is because this is dependent on the way how to, how this is installed. Huh? So you cannot install it somehow. Yeah, you have to install it this way, yeah? because this is calibrated or this is only working with gravity. There are also then flow indicators which do have a spring, so that is spring loaded, they are usually not that long, but they exist as well. Okay, Also flow indicators for liquids, then they are a little bit thicker, but the principle is exactly the same like I just shown you. All right? So. That's it for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.